After months of non-stop rain and cold weather, spring finally brings warmth and a break in the rain so that progress can be made on my new shop building. Some final grading is done and Bob's big iron track loader, which sat here all winter, heads home. Concrete forms and footings take shape and suddenly it looks like tomorrow is concrete day. Well, the contractors arrived a half a day early and I had to spring into action. They'd forgotten about that I was putting a water line that would go to the back corner, come out to this corner and then feed off uh, up toward the pool house. Uh, to be tapped off so I'd have water in the shop. So I had to start trenching here to get that water line in and uh, now they're a little worried that I won't get it covered up and done before tomorrow which we hope will have uh, finish off digging the footings and the piers, holes, and get the concrete poured there. Concrete truck scheduled tomorrow. That's very exciting. I had to work fast, so I strung a string between the water line entrance point and the back corner of the shop and started trenching from both ends to the middle. Now it's time to dig the middle out and finish the trench. Once again, my B-expanded trencher bucket gets it done. Two sections of the trench don't line up perfectly, so I'm widening this side a bit so that they do line up. So far I haven't had to deal with big rocks that I couldn't get out of the ground. Hopefully my luck will hold out for these last few feet. My luck did hold out, so now I need to put the pipe together. First I decide how tall I want the pipe at the rear of the shop to stick out of the ground. Then I get to work.
Half a brick makes a perfect prop to keep a pipe off the ground. I had to dig under the form where the pipe will head off toward the pool house before gluing the last section of pipe. Then I evened out the trench with a trenching shovel and removed any stray rocks. I hand bury the pipe for the first few inches to protect it from any rocks that may get pushed in when backfilling with the tractor. Like the pool house water line, I put a piece of rubber gym floor mat right here where the pipe goes over a rock. Daytime songbirds give way to the evening chorus of frogs and crickets. Finally, it's ready for backfilling with the tractor. It's darker than it looks on this camera, so I have my Rob's LED work lights on, which are wonderful to have, by the way. A must-have mod on a tractor, in my opinion. The tractor cam view shows how dark it actually is.
all this rush, rush work, and then the next day, no concrete. The trucks wouldn't be able to arrive in time to finish the shop building pour that day. But we did make progress, and most importantly, I got to have some fun moving a pile of dirt with one of Bob's skid steers. Stay tuned for that and more. If you enjoy these videos, please help me keep them coming by clicking the like button, commenting below, and subscribing. Thanks for watching.